Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today I'm going to show you how to import a GSD file into the Studio, uh, Silhouette Studio software. You can use a few of the following files for your uh, Silhouette. GSD, Studio, PNG, and I believe DXF. The ones that I use are the GSD which would be like a SVG file, or I use the PNG file, which would be your print and cut files. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and get started here. What I'm doing is because you can't see all of my screen, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing um, because I want to be able to focus mainly on the mat so that you could see how to do it. So what you're going to do in order to get your file that you want to work with, you're going to go up in the left hand corner and you're going to hit, uh, click on file merge then you're going to go into your files that you want and I'm just going to go into let's see what was the file I was working on um, the very lucky file from Scraptastical Creations so I want to work with the rainbow bear Okay, so I've clicked on the rainbow bear and it says no items match your search. So what you need to go do down here where it says type, files of type, you're going to click GSD and then it's going to be there. Click on it and hit OK. Now you can see that you barely can see my file. So what I do is I highlight the whole entire thing by going to one corner, clicking and then dragging. Now I'm going to go up to this paint bucket if you click on it, it'll, if you just hover around these and wait, it'll tell you what it is. So I'm going to open the fill color window. I'm going to color everything black. That way I can see all of my images and not have to wonder where they are. Okay. So now I have all my images. Now, if you're not able to move an image, what you're going to do is this whole thing is going to be highlighted. So what you'll do is you'll just click your image, right click it, and then you're going to hit ungroup. And then once you hit that, you'll be able to move your images off of your mat. Now some files or some creators of the files um, have like colors in groups. So sometimes like this would be the bear's head and ears. Sometimes Christy has them by color, so if you move it, all the light colors would be grouped together so that when you move it, the whole, all those colors are linked together. If you, and I like that, this one's not like that, but that's fine because I'll just go in and actually when I'm working with my Silhouette Studio software, because I can color everything in, unlike the SVG files, I would go ahead and color all of these brown. These are the inner parts of the ears and the muzzle. So those are going to be different. Um, this is going to be green. So I'll just color it all in green. Here's my rainbow. Orange, red, green, purple, purple. You know, stuff like that. So that is how I work with the GSD files. This is going to be white and so on. And then I'll just move it apart. But if you're wanting to scale your image down because you are you don't want it that big, like you're going to put it on a card or something, grab your image. Oops. Grab your image, everything, make sure that everything has a square box around it. And then you're going to go up here, or no, I just grab the corner of it and I just shrink it, okay, to get it to the size that I want. And then what I'll do is I will take all the pieces apart and line them kind of, line them up. I have that 
and I want my head to be over my shirt, so click on the head, and then you're going to go down, let me see if I can get this for you. Down here, there's these two buttons, bring to front, and send to back. I'm going to bring it to front, because I want it to be over, you see that? I want it to be over the shirt, okay? And bring it back up. Maybe I can zoom in here. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pants. You know, something like this. The pants are going to be actually at a tilt because he's going to be sliding down the rainbow. So I'm clicking on the image. There's a green little circle and then I'm going to tilt it. Okay, just like that. Alright, so now I know that over on my grid, each inch is a square, so it's one inch, two inch, three inch, four inches. So this bear, pretty much when it's done, is going to be about four inches, four and a quarter inches. And that is how, I mean, it does take a little bit more time in creating your files and everything, but that is how I work with my GSD files because I can color code them and I can shrink them all down and group them together so that I know exactly what size they're going to cut out at. Now, you can also, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to show you guys how you would do like a print and cut file. Okay, so the file that we're going to work with, we're going to do a PNG file, which is the print and cut. So we're going to go to File Merge. I already have it open, but you're going to click the image you want, bear with carrot, go down to files of type, GSD, or no, sorry, PNG, click on your bear with your carrot, okay, make sure it's inside your mat, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my trace, because you're going to need to trace around it, it'll print how it is now, but it won't cut, and we want to be able to print and cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our image, we're going to click trace, select trace area, make sure your whole image is inside of that blue box, and then you're going to click trace outer edge. And now, because I've worked with this file before and you see how it's shaded, it's a little bit darker orange around the carrot and around the green. Okay, I'm going to separate them. I think this is how we did it. Click on your image and then offset. Okay, so it gave you a shadow. Now, I don't like mine to be that big. I just want a little bit of a white border around my cut. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that offset, just the offset, okay, and I'm going to bring it over here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want any of this other stuff on the inside to cut out. So I'm going to right click, release compound path, and delete. And delete. And delete. I just want what's right here in red. This is what's going to cut. So you want to make sure that you're going to cut around your carrot and your bear. So I'm going to delete my first image. Bring this back up here so we can work here. And then I pretty much have it where I need it to be. Okay? That's going to be perfect. Now I could, I believe, if I select the images, I have two boxes. You're going to go up to your Align button, and you're going to select Align Middle. That will align them so that they cut out together. Okay, but I think that it's a little bit... I don't like that either. We can do Align Middle. I think it's not aligning very well. 
So I'm just going to align it myself where it would look just like this, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to put regular white cardstock into our printer and we're going to print our image and then we're going to cut it. But first, before we print it, what we need to do is you need to go up right here. There's these three little bars. Click on that. Show your registration marks. Okay. Now you see how this is in that that uh, box off area? You need to move it. So I'm going to group my image together. Right click group. And I'm going to move it over. Okay. It cannot be in this shadowed out area or it won't cut. Okay. So hang with me tight here. I'm going to go ahead and do a print of this and then we'll go to the Silhouette SD and I'll show you how it cuts. Okay, one more thing is what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to send a silhouette. Click here to print. I've got my printer selected. Print. It's going to go ahead and print and then we're going to go to the uh, silhouette. Okay, so here's my piece of printer paper. I have my registration marks. There's one right here, one right here, and one over here. And there's my carrot and my bear. So I'm going to place this in my Silhouette SD. What you want to pay attention to is these two lines if you have the Silhouette SD. Not the lines that continue all the way across, just these two lines. You want to line it up with the very first one. Okay? You're going to hit Enter. That's going to load it in. And then on your computer, what you're going to do is I'm going to move you over there because I don't want you to be lost in the process here. I have lots of stuff everywhere. So you're going to go up here and continue to cutting page. Continue. I already loaded it. And you're going to hit detect automatically. And then it's going to find your registration marks. Okay, it's looking for those three lines that I showed you. And then once it finds them, it's going to go ahead and print it in, or it's going to go ahead and cut it out. Okay, so then you're going to get this screen. I have to excuse my mess. And you're going to hit cut page. And now it's going to start cutting. So it's cutting that offset that I created, which is going to be a little bit of a whiteness all around it. letting it run through its whole process so you can see that a time that it takes which is not very long at all mine might take a little bit longer because I think I have mine set on a, a multi-cut where it'll actually cut it out twice so I get a nice clip, uh, crisp cut yeah and plus it's thicker cardstock this is the cardstock that you get at Walmart for like six bucks and you get 250 sheets or whatever so it's a little bit thicker so I do everything on a multi-cut which I actually do with my Cricut as well you just don't get any of those frillies hanging out so we're gonna go ahead and let it finish up and then I'll peel it off and show it to you done. I'm going to hit enter to take it off my mat or to take it out of my SD and now I'm just going to peel it off my mat. Set my mat aside and this is what you get. So it has just a nice little white border around it. Now if you don't want that border you're going to make your offset so that you can barely see it uh, around your image but because she does the shading on this image I'm not sure how else to get it to work 
So I just created an offset, which I don't mind the white background like that. I think it looks cute and it kind of brings out your image. Um, but that's how I did it. So if you have any other questions, um, be sure to ask and I'll do the best that I can to help you. So thanks for watching and have a great day.